topics. Right. We right. Most of the objects around us are non-luminous objects. Next point. Most of the objects around us are non-luminous objects. Most of the objects around us are non-luminous objects. But we can see see them. But we can see them because. But we can see them because they reflect light. They reflect light from where? Which they received from where? Which they received? Luminous from objects. Luminous objects, right? Because they reflect light into our eyes. Mm -hmm. They reflect light into our eyes. Sir, say from non-luminous objects. Sir. Yeah, objects because they reflect light into our eyes. Full stop. Example you can take. Example, moon, moon. Example, moon. What is the moon ra? Even though moon is a non-luminous object, it it we gets. Are, we can able to see the moon. It reflects because light from sun. It light reflects from the sun. light which is falling. And the Emitted sun by sun. From sun, which will reflect the sunlight falling on its surface towards to us means towards to the earth, so that only we are able to see the. More. That's the last point. Light travels in straight line. Light travels in straight line. Light travels in straight line. Full stop. Only the opaque objects can form the shadow of an object. Only opaque objects can form the shadow. Shadow behind the object. Behind the object. That's all. Sir, can you say again, sir? Only open. Light travels in straight line, and only the opaque objects form forms are cast. Cast you can write. Cast a shadow. That's all. Only opaque objects can cast a shadow or forms a shadow. That's all. Up. Anything? Any doubt? Yeah. No doubt. Yes. No. no doubt. Now onwards, it is most important. So till now, it's a general discussion. Whatever you have made, it's okay. If you understand or not, even if you are following or not, also even it is doesn't matter. So now, now onwards, it is the most important one. So the next concept which we are going to study is what is this light? What is the nature of it? How it will be present? Understand how it is traveling in straight line. What is the speed of this light? This is a how what contains exactly light. So that is only called as nature of light. What is to call? Nature of light. Nature of light. Nature of light. Nature of light. So let us just don't write anything. Just listen first, all of you. Later only you can write. So let us come to the nature of light. You remember, we have a two theories about this nature of light. How many theories? Two theories. Two theories. Understand? Let us see what these theories will say. So till now you have studied light is traveling in straight light. Is it yes or no? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. Also, you can observe light is always travels not only in straight along with the straight line, it will be traveling in the form of waves also. Waves also. So that is like let us see. So we are electromagnetic waves. Yeah, we have a two theories about this nature of light. So first one is wave theory of light, and the second one is particle theory of light. So what is the first one wrong? So we have two theories to prove this light. Nature of theory light. of light and one particle theory of light. Theory. Understand? One is yes, wave, theory theory theory. wave theory of light. Wave theory of light. Wave theory of light. Particle theory of. And the next one is particle theory of. Particle theory of light. Particle theory of light. So let us start with the first one. Wave theory of light. So 
according to the wave theory what does it suggest us what it will say about the nature of light means remember according to the wave theory light consists of electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves which do not require a material medium which do not require a material medium for their propagation that is the first one according to the wave theory you may study in lower classes light can pass with or without medium is it yes or no have you remember sound yes sir in sound vacuum also light travel. travel sound is required medium to travel or propagate the word perfect word is called as propagation so okay. sound needs understanding required a medium to propagate from one place to another place but another. light does not require any medium light can travel with or without medium it can propagate from mm -hmm. one place to another place so that propagation of another. light without medium why means because light is a light consists of a electromagnetic waves so this electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves does not require any kind of medium to propagate for their propagation medium is not required for us not required to the light because of they contains electromagnetic waves don't try to copy now i will say first listen kindly all of you so this is only called as wave theory of light so it will say that light consists of electromagnetic waves which do not require any kind of material medium so what is the medium here any kind of material medium means in the sense of material yeah. any kind of materials like solids or liquids objects medium does not require understand without medium like vacuum also understand it will travel or else for their propagation for their propagation with or without medium they can travel with or without medium they can propagation propagate from one place to another place so that is only known as wave theory of light you understand amma Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Now you may observe that class nine you have studied sound chapter. Understand? So the successive difference between that the uh, distance, the successive uh, sorry, the distance between the two successive thrust are uh, two successive puff. We used to call as what? Wavelength. What we used to call? Wavelength. Wavelength, which we used to represent as inverted y. Wavelength. Inverted y, lambda we can call it as. What do you call it? Yes, sir, lambda. 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 So this wavelength, yes. light is also a understanding. It is in the form of waves. Wavelength. It is also having wavelength. So the wavelength of visible light waves is very very small. It is only about around four into ten power minus seven meters two. 8 into 10 power minus 7 meters. That is the wavelength of visible light, which is able to see by us, just having a very, 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 very smaller wavelength. That wavelength, you can see that we can able to see the light. Sir, can you please say this again? Yeah, I will say that. So the wavelength of the visible light, which we are able to see, is having about is only about. 4 into 10 power minus 7 meters. That much small. Ah, uh, minus 7. It is not plus 7. Ah, uh, 8 into 10 power minus 7 meters. This is the wavelength of visible light. Now, sir, what happened? Wavelength is increases means what will happen? If wavelength is keep on increasing much and much and much, then understand which will become difficult to see us. because like sun you can see intensity will keep on increases so we cannot able to focus the object so the basic light the light which we are able to see understand the wavelength lambda of the lambda unit is meters only amma because it is the distance between two successive thrust or two successive puffs is it sr no sr no yes sir yes yes sir so wavelength of this visible light is a very small It is about four into ten power seven meters. Ah, means from actually it is varying from here to here. Two you should write. 
4 into 10 power minus 7 meters to 8 into 10 power minus 7 meter. It is important for NTSC. NTSC, remember, they will ask you, what is the wavelength of visible light? Understand, visible light waves, that is, varies. Now you observe, but the wavelength is very, very small. Understand, wavelength is very, very small. But that is why, if wavelength is decreasing, so number of frequencies are increasing or not? Wavelength is decreasing. Number of frequencies means number of oscillations per second is more or not? You may remember, two waves I will draw now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So wavelength of light is, visible light is very, very small. You may remember in our lower classes, sound chapter. So now, if wavelength yes, is increasing, sir. frequency will be decreases. Suppose this is the one wave and another wave I will take it. So this is the wave. So now, who is having more frequency and who is having more wavelength? This wave is having more frequency, more wavelength. Is it yes or no? Yes, sir. This is having frequency. More, more frequency. Oscillations, one complete. Here, what is that? Less wavelength and more frequency. Is it yes More frequency. Here, frequency wavelength is directly more. proportional Here, to... Wavelength is more. So, if wavelength is increasing, number of frequencies, the number of waves forming... Sir, wavelength. so wavelength is indirectly proportional yeah. to frequency. Wavelength is inversely proportional to focal yeah. length. Always. Remember, wavelength is inversely proportional to focal length. Inversely so, proportional. If wavelength is increases, if wavelength is increases, then the light will come out, understand it, with the maximum speed, maximum speed, very high, understand it. So, if wavelength is decreasing, then the deviation of light will be more. That we will study in the second chapter. Now, it is not required because without that, you cannot understand. Without the formation of light rays, you cannot understand that. So, that is why you leave it. So, just you remember. So, the speed of light wave is very, very high. What is the speed of light ra in vacuum? What is the speed of light in vacuum? Yesterday, in the school class, also I have taught. So, the speed of light. This is the wavelength of visible light. And the light speed in vacuum or air. What is the speed of light in vacuum or air? Yesterday I have taught. Speed of light in vacuum or air. Refractive index time. While I am teaching refractive index, I have taught that. Speed of light in vacuum or air. We should represent with the C. So this light is having maximum speed. 3 into 10 power 8. The, the refractive index. That is what I am asking. 3 into 10 power 8. 3 the into 10 power 8 is, meters per second. The speed of light wave is very, 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 very high. Understand it. It is, we, we used to represent with the C. That is 3 into 10 power 8. 8 meter per, per second. 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. In where? In vacuum. In vacuum. Vacuum or air. Without medium. Or in air also. Yeah. Are also almost the same speed. That is why you can see. Is the speed so of light is... same everywhere? Amma? Sir, is the speed of light same everywhere? Everywhere, illa. vacuum and air, that's all. If you'll go to the, if you'll go any other object, the speed will decrease. Understand, Amma? If you're in the universe or if you're in atmosphere, the speed of light is almost same. That is why we'll consider that is. It is not constant everywhere. Understand, Asiva? Depend upon the medium, it will change. Understanding here, the medium is air. Air without medium. Without medium means what? Vacuum. Both have same Thank speed. You. Both have speed, same speed. If you take any other medium, definitely it will change. Understanding? So this is only the first theory. What is this theory? Ra? Wave theory of light. Uh, wave, wave, wave theory, theory, of, light theory light. of light. So wave theory, what it will say? A medium is not required to propagate the light. Understand? That is only. And wavelength of light is, visible light is 4 into 10 power minus 7 meter to 8 into 10 power minus 7 meter. And they are having a maximum speed, very, very high speed. That is only 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Or vacuum or air. Now, let us go for the second theory. What is the second theory, Ra? Practical sir, theory. I didn't write anything in the first theory, sir. You said I will say, say Ma, why are you worrying? Okay, you sir. First. Particle theory. Particle, Particle theory, theory of, of yeah. light. Particle theory of light. Particle theory of light. So, remember, 
optical theory of light will suggest us that light is composed of particles light is composed of particles that particles also is to called as photons that is also i will say understand so according to the particle theory light is composed of particles which travel always in which line amma straight line or curve line straight line straight line straight line straight line c r a i g h t always straight line which is made up of particles always travel in straight line at very high speed at very, very high speed very high speed high speed that is only known as that is only called as particle theory of light so according to the particle theory of light light is composed of a particles light is composed of particles understand it so that elementary particles only means that smaller particles of light which will defines understand which is forming the light is only called as not proton this is just photons p h o t o n proton remember proton means which contains in what positive charge in atom this is proton p h o t o n proton a elementary particle of light is only called as proton so this is only called as understanding wave theory as well as particle theory of light so now here you observe some of the phenomena of light can be explained only if light is considered to be made up of waves understand and some phenomena of light is thought to be made up of particles and we can explain understanding with the help of particles only so that is the reason light before and all people will say light is made up of waves and some people still they will say light can be explained only if light is thought to be made up of particles so we don't have a clarity till now that is why from class 10th and plus 1 onwards we'll study light is made up of both as well as both having a forms of wave forms as well as particle form that we will study understanding amma yes sir okay, no sir. yes so okay. here you light later i will continue okay. now you write the definitions so why we are considering okay. this understand so some of, some fellows will say that light is considered to be made up of only waves and some others can be explained only if light is thought to be made up of particles then only it is possible to explain so that we will see the examples also what is that examples and all now you write nature of light so how many theories we have ra first one two theories sir first one yeah. is wave theory of light second wave one is particle theory of light all of you first write wave theory of light wave theory of light somebody left from the meeting now 13 again that means 12 only so before 14 including excluding me 13 now one left who is that anusri why you are late no responsibility no sincerity pranav okay over Nitish Kumar, you also. I'm not satisfied. Next, right? Wave theory. First one. According to the wave theory, according to the wave theory, according to the wave theory, light consists of light consists of electromagnetic waves. light consists of electromagnetic waves light consists of electromagnetic waves which do not require a material which do not require a material medium a material medium a material medium bracket what you can write solid liquid or gas bracket you can write solid liquid or gas for their propagation for their electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves which do not require a material medium which do not require a material medium bracket you can write solid liquid or gas for their propagation for their propagation full stop propagation yes so next the wavelength of a visible light is the wavelength of a visible light is very small very small 
you can give small hyphen and you can write that value. How much it is? It's just like a four, four into ten power, ten power, power minus seven, seven meter, meter and two eight, eight, eight into ten power minus seven. Into ten power minus seven meter. That's all. Next, speed of light in vacuum C C. Speed of light in vacuum R R R R is represented with what? C is represented with the C. C is equals to yes. 3 into 10 power minus 8. 3 sorry, into 10 3 power into my... 8 meters. Yes, sir. 3 into 10 power 8 meters. Clear? Yes, sir. 3 into 10 power 8. Sir, speed of light is C. We are denoting speed yes. of light is C. Speed of light in vacuum or air. C bracket you can write C equals to 3 into 10 power 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Okay, ma. So now, say again. Yes, one. sir. Particle theory of light. You are doing particle theory of light. So say that part, uh, third point alone, sir. The speed of light in vacuum or vacuum or air bracket you can write C equals to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Okay, sir. Understand? Next. Next. Particle theory of light. Particle theory of light. Particle theory of light. Right. Light is composed of particles. Light is composed of particles. Light is composed of particles. According to that, Amma, according to the particle theory, that is remember. According to the particle theory, light is composed of particles. Light is composed of particles which travel in a straight line. Which travel in a straight line. Which travel in a straight line at very high speed. At very high speed. Prasini, you understand Prasini? Very high speed. Full stop. So that particles, what we should call run? Name called as photons. What we should call? Photons. Right. The elementary particles, the elementary particles that defines light is the, that defines light is the, that defines light is the photons. Is called as what, Amma? Sir, can you please repeat that after elementary? That defines light is the, the elementary particles that defines light is the photon. That's all. You understood or not? So yes, sir, from sir, first one, sir. The elementary particles yes, that defines light is the photon. That's all, Padmavasini. Sir, I didn't ask anything, sir. I have completed, sir. Okay. Photon. Now, let us see. What I am saying, few fellows are arguing that, understanding. So some of the phenomena of light can be explained only if light is considered to be made up of waves. And some others are saying only it can be explained if light is thought to be made up of only particles. So let us see the example of this. Some is saying that light must be waves and some is saying that light is a form of particles, made up of particles. Then let us see the example and you can understand. Suppose you will take the phenomena of diffraction. Understand? What is the phenomena? The phenomena of diffraction, all of you listen, most important thing, the phenomena of diffraction, understand, it is a natural phenomenon. So what is this phenomena means, remember, diffraction means a bending of light, a bending of light around the corners of tiny objects, that is only called as diffraction, bending of light, bending of light around the corners of tiny objects. That is meaning of diffraction. Around the bending of light, around the corners of, understand, corners of tiny objects is only called as diffraction, phenomena of diffraction. 
Now you see. If we'll take this phenomena, the phenomena of diffraction, understand? Or else you can take interference, understanding? Interference, that is also one of the natural phenomena. I will explain it. Understanding? Inter, I-N-T-R. T-R, interference. F-E-R-E-N-C, interference. And polarization of light. And polarization of light. This is all the natural phenomena of light only, not scattering of light. This is also diffraction of light, interference of light, polarization of light. I will say polarization of light. everything. Understand? Polarization of light. Everything. Understand? They can be explained. They can be explained if light is considered to be of wave nature. Only they can be explained only when you consider the light is considered to be a, as a wave form. Wavelength, oh sorry, waveform, then only we can explain <coughs> natural phenomena like diffraction, interference, and polarization. And suppose if we'll take the particle theory of light cannot be explained these phenomena. Only wave theory only explain this, these phenomena. Suppose like if it comes to the phenomena of reflection and refraction, which you are studying in class 10, reflection and refraction. See this. Diffraction, understanding, and bending of light, interference and polarization you will study in the plus one. Understanding. So there we will consider light is both waves as well as uh, particles. That is why. So now if it comes to this, the phenomena of reflection and refraction of light, they are casting of shadows on the object by light. Is it yes or no? And casting, if you will take the refraction of light, reflection and refraction, as well as casting of shadows of light. Uh, shadows of object, everything, they can be explained only if light is thought to be made up of particles. Are you understanding? So if you take casting of shadow, casting of shadow, so these kind of phenomena cannot be explained, cannot be explained by the wave theory of uh, phenomena, wave theory of light, we can only explain this one with the help of what? They can be explained only if it is thought to be made up of particles. So that is why there is evidence for the wave nature of light as well as for particle nature of light. So that is only we can consider till now whatever they consider, you are consider light is made up of maybe photons, means particles or maybe waves, doesn't matter. But we have evidences that both the light is having a nature of both wave nature as well as it is made up of particles. Understand? Because few phenomena of light is explained only with the help of wave theory of light and few phenomena is explained only with the help of what? Particle nature of light, particle theory of light, so that only we can say that, understanding, light is having a characteristics of both wave nature as well as particle nature. And if you'll observe here in the physics experiment over the first 100, 100 years, understanding, it has been demonstrated that light is having a dual nature. What is the dual nature? Light can exhibit. We are having a identity. We are having a proof. That is what light is having. A, light can exhibit both the characteristics. What is that? Light is having the properties of both waves and particles. Depending on the situation in it. Depending on the situation or the type of natural phenomena. It, we can say that it may be a wave or it may be a particle. Understanding? So, this is only called as modern theory of light. Modern theory of light. Means light can exhibit the both properties of wave as well as particles. So, this is only called as the modern theory of light, which we used to call name as quantum theory of light. What we used to call Ra? Quantum theory. Quantum theory. Quantum theory. Q-U-A-N. Understand? P-U-M. Quantum theory of light. So what it will say, Ra? Quantum theory of light. What it will say? Quantum theory of light. It is a modern theory of light. What it will say that? Which will combine both the waves and the particle. Both the waves and, and, and the particle, particle models of light. That's all. So, the wave theory so, so can you say it again? What wave, is quantum theory? It will say that wave is a light. Understand? Sorry, light is a wave. Particle theory will say that light is a particle. But quantum theory of light will say that 
light is a combines both the waves and combines the uh, wave theory and the particle theory so now wave particle duality yeah ah uh, waves and particle models of light both now you write all of you quantum theory of light all of you write quantum theory of light quantum theory of light quantum theory of light it is known as modern theory of light it is known as modern theory of light modern theory of light modern theory of light okay. which is known as it is known as modern theory of light which combines both the wave which light combines which light combines which light combines both the wave and particle models of light both the wave and particle models of light both the wave and particle models of light particle models of light sir which which combines which combines both which light combines both the wave and particle models of light ஊஞ்சிச்சா எஸ் சார் எஸ் சார் ஓகே மா சார் ஐ cannot understand quantum theory sir a quantum theory means separate mixing amma both particles and uh, if you we'll mix the waves combine then that is only called as quantum theory modern theory will say that light is before people will say that light is only form of waves after people will say that light is a form of only particles but we are observing that few phenomena of light is happening only when we consider light is a form of particles few phenomena of light light is happening only when we consider light is a form of waves that is why the modern theory will say that we have a proofs that light consists of both particles as well as waves so that is why that name of the theory modern theory is called as quantum theory of light understand ashika yes sir no ashika yes sir thank you sir. yeah now let us see that right few few natural phenomena few natural phenomena few natural phenomena like diffraction of light what is the meaning of diffraction ra like diffraction of light bending a light bending around the around the corners of tiny objects means if you will consider the tiny corners of tiny objects there are tiny objects in the path then the light will bends like this and the light will bends like this and again will go like this is only called as bending of light understand when the light bending of light around the corners of tiny objects is only called as what diffraction, diffraction. what is it called diffraction. diffraction next interference int sir few natural phenomena few natural phenomena like diffraction of light diffraction of light bracket you can write bending of light around the corners of tiny objects what is the meaning of diffraction means you should say bending of light around the corners of tiny objects around the corners of tiny corners of tiny objects next interference do you know what is the meaning of interference anybody no i don't know no I don't know means you tell me i will no, say Don't know. Don't know, sir. Yeah. Now let us sir, see. Sir, what is the meaning of interference? Means different waves of sound, different sounds will coincide each other. Will coincide each other. Then that is called as interference. Means it is the natural effect. Understand? It is the natural effect of a combination of two or more wave. Understand? Trains moving on intersecting or coinciding path. Means in the sense of you see. so this is the source of light or uh, this is the another source of light now these light rays are traveling like this these light rays are traveling like this understand in the form of waves and this source also will travel like this now they are intersecting have you noticed it they are intersecting have you understanding yes sir yes sir yes or no this phenomena yes, is only called as this phenomena is only called as interference of light what is to call 
interference, interference of light. light. Understand? Interference of light means yes. they will travel. Understand? They will travel with like this interference. They will travel. That is only called as interference. So you can write. Interference. Interference means understanding. It's the addition of amplitudes of the individual waves at each point affected by more than one wave. That is only called as interference. Where the intersecting. Here you can observe intersecting. That is called as interference. Not required. Sir, you can you say the definition also? Just remember, whenever you see interference. Okay, sir. Understand interference okay. and polarization of light. Polarization of light. Polarization of light can be explained. Can be explained only when we consider. Only when we consider light is a form of light is a form of wave or uh, particle. Amma. Wave or form Part of particle. Wave form. Wave form. Wave form. Full stop. Full stop. Sir, polarization of light. After that, can be explained. Can be explained. Can be explained. If light is considered to be of wave nature. If light is considered to be of wave nature. Full stop. Next. Next. Means in the sense of these phenomena cannot be explained by what? Cannot be explained by particle, particle theory. Particle theory. Right. Understanding particle theory, theory of light cannot be explained this phenomenon. Like the phenomena of reflection and refraction of light, reflection and refraction of light. Write it. The phenomena of reflection and refraction of light. Wait. Right. Yes, the phenomena of reflection and refraction of light and casting of shadows and casting of shadows of objects by light of objects by light casting of shadows of objects by light of objects by light can be explained can be explained can be explained only if light is only if light is water thought to be made up of 